hey darlings welcome back to my channel thank you very much for being here so today i'm going to share with you guys how to make a cow dress and how to take your simple cow dress to a classic cow dress just like a scene on your screen right now so if you want to find out how to make this watch till the end so i'm going to start off with a folded fabric as you can see i'm going to be cutting on fold and to determine the fabric to fold, the amount of fabric to fold, I simply added 13 inches to the original one quarter of my hip measurement. So you can add more or less depending on the effect you want to get after making it. So here we're going to mark our indication line and above the shoulder line is one inch reserved for seam allowance. Then from this shoulder line down is the hip line measurement. Then at 33 inches is where I want the cowl to start. That is below the hip line. So the rest of it all is the full length of our dress, which could be your knee line, your three-quarter, or your full length to the ankle, depending on what you desire. Now from the center front, you're going to be marking half of your shoulder measurement plus half inch for seam allowance. And as for my case, it is eight inches. And then you're going to mark it like this. Next is to determine the kind of neckline you want to mark. As for mine, I'm going to be marking a round neck. And from the center front, I measured in four and a half inches for the width of the neckline. And for the depth, I'm going to be marking at four inches. And with these measurements, I'm going to be making a round neck design. You can change your own neckline to your desired taste. Next, from the shoulder line at the open-ended area, I'm going to be slanting by 2 inches, so I'm going to mark 2 inches there. So the next thing I'm going to do is to connect from the neckline area right here, all the way to the 2 inches slant I marked there. And I'm going to connect it all together with a straight line. Now, to mark in the armhole measurement, you're going to be placing your tape right on where you mark the shoulder measurement, which is at this point, and you're going to be measuring on the slanted line you just created. You may want to mark at eight inches if you wish to, but because I want to have a wider armhole for my boo boo, I'm just going to mark at nine inches. You can choose to mark at eight inches or less, but I choose to mark at nine because it gives me the freedom I like in my boo boo. Next, you mark the midpoint between the shoulder line and the armhole line. Now, right on the midpoint you marked, you are going to take it one inch downwards, then create a curve all the way to the shoulder measurement and all the way to the armhole line. And then you have the armhole of your boo boo. Next, we are going to be adding our seam allowances for the shoulder line at this point. You are going to add half inch to this point. And also at the shoulder line right here, you're going to be marking half inch for seam allowance. Now to mark the measurement of the hip line, you're going to be adding two inches to your original one quarter of your hip measurement. For, for this case, I'm going to be marking at 12 and a half instead of 10 and a half to create the space you need for your booboo. Then at this point also, I'm going to be marking the same thing as I marked on the hip line. So you're going to be marking the same thing right here. And you're going to connect it all together to each other. And this measurement also is going to be falling on the full length of your dress. Then I'm going to use this as an indication to create a curve for the bat wing effect of the booboo. Now starting from this lower point, I'm going to start tracing randomly all the way to the slanted shoulder line right here. Don't forget you need a seam allowance also. So that's why I'm just going to measure out one inch away from the edge of my fabric. And I'm going to continue my random tracing of the bat wing effect. So next, I added my side seam allowance all the way from the shoulder area 
down to the full length of my dress. Don't forget to add your own side seam allowance. So now we are done with the front piece, we are going to place it on a fabric to cut out the back piece. But before placing it, I marked out one and a half inch allowance right here before the center front. This is going to act as our slit allowance as I want the back of my dress to have slit so that I can walk easily in it. So now, after marking this, you're going to place your front piece on the fabric and then you're going to cut out the sides and the shoulder area leaving the neck as it is for further modification now after cutting it out this is what it should look like and then coming to the neckline for the back piece i'm just going to measure down from the shoulder area two inches below and i'm going to create a round neck effect as well as i have at the front piece because i want the back neckline to be higher than the front piece so now this is what it should look like after cutting now i'm going to remove the front piece like this as you can see then for the back piece i'm going to cut through the closed area up like this to create the opening for my slit so guys if you are enjoying this tutorial so far don't forget to click the subscribe button if you are yet to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up thank you now i'm going to start off the sewing with joining the back piece together i'm measuring from the shoulder line down all the way to this point is where I want my slit to start so what I'm going to do is to stitch all through the neckline onto this area and then stop right here and that's where I want my slit to start now the next thing to do now is to finish off the slit area from the wrong side of your dress and what I'm simply going to do right now is to open up the slit like this you can hold it down with a pin before sewing you're going to open it up like this maybe you can give it a pressing with an iron as well to keep it relaxed so now this is one of the ways you can keep your slits relaxed while sewing your slits at the wrong side of your dress so now as you can see i've held it down with a pin and the next thing i'm going to do is to mark half inch above where the slit actually stopped and then half inch on both sides of this area then I'm going to start off my stitching from the mark on like this and then half inch along this part and also at the other side I'm going to be stitching half inch away from the center back like this all the way to half inch above where the slit stopped so now the next thing I did was to tape the neckline of my dress like this both the front and back piece then I'm going to place it right side to right side to each other. This is the front piece. I'm going to put the back side of my dress right side to right side to each other. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to stitch it together. Right now at the shoulder line with my half inch seam allowance. And then also at this area by half inch also on both sides. Then the next thing I'm going to do right now after sewing it is to sew the side seams together as well so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to sew in my sleeves and i chose a basic sleeve for this adding a little bit of detail to it and we're going to sew in the sleeve on this area we created the armhole line while drafting this dress you can add any kind of sleeve you wish to for your own boo boo but i choose to add these sleeves to mine so now after adding the sleeves we're going to go over to the next level so now after stitching your sleeve without further sewing this is what you should have exactly but if you want to take it from this to something like this which is similar to what we are going to improvise right now to create this look you're going to need to take the next step which I'm going to be showing you in a while now to create this touch is a simple trick the first thing you need to do is to measure down from your shoulder line down by 15 inches please don't mind that I marked at 16 inches I let her sew at 15 inches okay to get the best out of this improvisation so now you're going to also indicate the mid line of your center front so now after marking this out you're going to be measuring out 
two and a half inches on both sides of the mark you just made and after making this mark the next thing you are going to do is to start the improvision by making pleats at this area so we are going to start off with marking out two and a half inches on both sides and now the next thing you are going to do is to lift it from this point you're going to pinch it from this point all the way to the center front you hold it down with a pin and you do the same at the other side of the dress as well and you're going to be repeating this process twice to have the best look of it so now just as we did before we're going to be repeating the same process as you can see i've held this down with a pin and the next thing i'm going to do right now is to measure out again right from the center front again about two and a half inches right like this and i'm going to pinch it just as i did at first for the first piece so after doing the second pinching the next thing you're going to do now is to do that same process again for the third time but if you desire to leave it at the second time all right as well so you're going to run stitches in the midpoint as you have marked it. so after sewing that you should have something like this and your dress is very much ready Thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to click the subscribe button if you're yet to subscribe to our channel and if you have any question or any comment please leave it on the comment section below see you guys in my next video bye